Okay, uh, so today we're going to have a look at creating a Redshift cluster by using Terraform. The two resources that we're going to create is one, the Redshift cluster, and um, we're also going to create a Secrets Manager uh, entry. Now this is going to store all our connection details to Redshift, like our username, password, hostname, uh, just so that we can connect to this later on. So the first thing I'm going to do is come along to this blog post that I've written and copy and paste this Terraform snippet. Uh, it's nothing too fancy, we'll get into it in just a second. So if we go to our code editor, create a file called main.tf and paste that snippet. And now we can take a quick look through and see what we've got here. So we're using the AWS provider. Obviously we'll need to connect to AWS. And we're going to use everything in the EU West 1 region. Uh, you can change this to be uh, any region you like. We're going to create a couple of random uh, strings. So one's a random password for Redshift, and the other is just a string that we're going to use um, to name our secret later on. And we can see here that we're creating the Redshift cluster. Nothing too fancy, just a single node instance running DC too large. Um, but I would stress so that even <laughs> though it does, I'm saying it's nothing too fancy, Redshift is a really expensive resource, uh, and this alone, I think, will cost you over $220 a month to run. Uh, so when you're done, especially if you're just playing about with it and, you, and you're just um, wanting to get some experience in Redshift, uh, make sure you do destroy this resource afterwards to stop getting a big bill. Uh, and finally, as I said, we're creating this uh, secret. Uh, so it's important to note that we've got this unique suffix at the end. Redshift secrets, when you delete them, um, they can take, by default, um, they're set to live for an extra 30 days. Uh, this is just so you don't accident accidentally delete something really important in production. Uh, and you can restore it for, for 30 days or 70 days or however long you want to make that limit. And you can see that our secret is just linking to all of our Redshift resources. So lots of things like the password we don't know ahead of time. Uh, we don't know what the endpoint's going to be, but we want to store them in a secret in Amazon so we can link back to them later. So first up, now that we've got our script, we can run this Terraform in it. And as I was saying earlier, we, that just creates this AWS provider as well, sets up our Terraform locally in this directory. Okay, <laughs> and now that's done. So everything's been initialized. We can just go ahead and run a Terraform apply. Uh, of course, usually you'd want to run a Terraform plan first to make sure everything's going to be created the way you want before you actually start creating it. Um, but I know here we've got five resources to add, zero to change, zero to destroy. So this looks absolutely fine to me. So I'm going to type yes. And this next section, because we're, we're launching a Redshift cluster, that process is probably going to take about five minutes. Rather than, than make you watch an incredibly dull video, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this part. Okay. Uh, now, as you can see, uh, this has finished running. Uh, so it actually took about uh, a little over two and a half minutes to create it in this time. Uh, so we've added our five resources, which is really just two, one for Redshift and one for the Secrets Manager. Uh, so now we can go back to our browser, uh, go into Redshift, and you'll see that we've created this cluster uh, and that it's available to use. And we've got our endpoint URL over here. Uh, so we can now go into our Secrets Manager, and see that we have created this secret. And if we retrieve secret value, you can see now that we've got our, our unique random password that we had just created. We've got our port, obviously our username, and we've got this host name. Uh, so we've got the, the endpoint that we're looking to connect to. Uh, so these are the sort of details that we, we can now use. So if we're using a Lambda or an EC2 to connect to this, um, we've got all these details that Terraform has created in advance. And hopefully this gives you everything you need now uh, to create the <laughs> to create a Redshift cluster. Um, but as I mentioned before, it is really expensive to keep this running. So we're going to go ahead and run the third command, which is terraform destroy. And this is just going to delete everything that we have just created today. So if we go back into our terminal, run terraform destroy. And again, it's quite a slow process to create a Redshift cluster and it's quite a slow process to destroy one. Uh, so it will take a few minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end. Okay, and that's it done. Uh, so we have now destroyed our five resources. And if we look back into the AWS console and we refresh our 
uh, cluster screen, we can see we've got no clusters left. And then just to make sure that we've got nothing else, uh, we can see that we've got no secrets left either. Okay, so now that you know how to uh, launch a Redshift cluster, uh, and you know how to destroy one. Uh, hopefully this gives you a good starting point and over time you can begin to extend this script to, to see your project uh, appropriately.